Larry, I'm, I can't wait to ask you this question. This is why I bring you up here. So that when I need to ask these crazy ass questions, I got somebody who's willing to answer these questions. I want right. you to take a look at what Jordan Peele has announced. And I've got two major questions for it. Take a look at this. Jordan Peele says, black actors will always take center stage in his movies. I don't see myself casting a white dude as the lead. Who boy, woo Nelly, Larry, Larry, Larry. My questions to you are, is he gonna get backlash from the whites? And if I'm a white person, why should I continue to support Jordan Peele? And can he legitimately pull this off? So that's three questions. Yes, yes, and yes. What, what, and what? Please explain, explain, explain. I mean, he's gonna get he's gonna get backlash from them because the, he's saying things that, that they don't want to hear, obviously. There's mm -hmm. gonna be people that sit up there and say that's terrible, that's racist. You can't say that. If a white person said that, they would be they would be kicked out of Hollywood, they'd be ostracized, yada yada yada. But it doesn't matter if a white person says it or not, because there are plenty of white people doing it. There's plenty of white directors and 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 white writers and and white studio executives that already do it. They don't need to say it in public. They're just doing it. And so for him to come out and just say it is just something he's just being straight up and real saying, no, nah, I'm just not going to do it. I'm basically what he's saying is I'm going to write movies about black people and there's not going to be white people in there putting on blackface for my movies. So I'm going to keep making movies about black people and there's going to be black leads because that's who the movies are going to be written about. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just what it is. You know, you have white people all the time when black people complain about not getting roles. They say, oh, well, this is this this movie was written about white people. No, it's not. This movie's written about superheroes. Superheroes aren't real. They could be anybody. You know, oh well, this movie was written about this movie was written about about white people, so we can't have them in there. No, this movie is written at some fictional time way off in the future in some space galaxy, and it doesn't it doesn't exist, it's not real. So it could be black or white, doesn't matter. So, you know, but you do have writers that are doing stuff also. They say, Well, I don't want to write for black people, so they'll write stuff like, you know, some some piece on 18, you know. 15th century Europe or something. Okay, there was probably not many black folks around back then. So you're going to cast all white people. But then you have a bunch of yeah, people like what's his name? Um uh, the dude that married his daughter. Um uh what's his name? The little nerdy looking dude with glasses from New York that married his daughter. Yeah, he married the little Asian girl that he adopted. Oh jeez, I didn't hear about that. What's that dude's name? Um I think I want to say it's Woody something. Woody okay. uh what do you, oh, what is his damn? Somebody in the comment section knows. Somebody out there knows. It's not Woody Harrelson. It's Woody Allen. There it is. Muchella says Woody Allen. You know, like Woody Allen. Woody Allen doesn't write anything about for black people or put black people in his stuff. He's in New York City. What the, the dude writes basically all of his yeah. movies set in New York City, and he doesn't even have black people as extras in his movies. Tell me, when do you go to New York and you don't see black people? But I don't wait. care where you are. You can be on Wall Street. You can be on on uh, you can be on Fifth Avenue. You're gonna see black people somewhere. They're gonna be there because they have money. They're gonna be there because they're working. They're gonna be there because they live there because they're parking a car. They're gonna the be hell? there because they own a business or because they're they're selling something. They're gonna be there. Wait, wait, wait man, I'm lost. What do you mean? Doesn't put black doesn't put black people in his movies. No, I ain't lost on that. You mean to tell me this dude adopted an Asian daughter? Adopted an Asian daughter, then he married her. Yeah. Yes. What the? And, and there apparently there wasn't a whole lot of outrage about that. Oh, there was a whole lot of outrage, but it's Hollywood, and he keeps making him money. And that's the other reason why I was going to say yes with huh. why he's going to be able to get away with it because as long as he keeps making money as long as he like he's been turning cranking out hits okay. as long as jordan peele keeps cranking out hits he's going to yeah. keep making hollywood a shit ton of money and he's they're going to allow him to keep doing what he's doing there's going to be some people that may get mad and say well why don't you put a white person in there and someone in the room is going to say don't mess with the formula it's working don't mm -hmm. if it's not broke don't fix it let them let him keep doing what he's doing we'll we'll complain about it 
when it stops working. You know, I think I think it's, it's it's gutsy for him to come out and say that and do it. And if he can pull it off and keep doing it, because he's putting out quality movies with black leads. This is right. what we've been talking about. Black people are capable of doing for years. And it's not that he and not only is putting out quality flicks, but he's getting a wide swath of audience on top of that, which means he has complete crossover appeal. You don't see people being stuck with, okay, this genre of movie when it comes to Jordan Peele. He's got movies, people are crossing over into his TV shows. He's got crossover appeal. And I think if somebody can pull it off, man, the things going on in his head, Mike can pull this off. But again, but again, Larry, can a white person say he's racist for this stance, even though he's married to an Anglo-Saxon woman? I mean, they can say what they want to say, you know, but if dude's saying basically, I'm going to make movies about my people. And so there, I'm not casting I don't see myself casting a white person as a lead. Then he's just saying what it is. He's going to write and tell the stories that he wants to tell. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, I mean, what room do they even have to complain? They've been doing that and they're still, they've been doing that since the movie industry started and they are still doing it to this day. There are white writers and white directors and, and, you know, that are out there that have never had a black lead in their movies. And so, I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, you, I mean, you can't, you can't sit up there and complain, oh, this dude's racist for saying that when you're not only have you done it in the past, you're still actively <laughs> doing it. Mm. So, okay. I mean, the reality of it is, is that you have one you have one dude out there who's making a lot of money, who's doing well for himself. And he said something that people aren't going to think is politically correct. What he really should have, I mean, if he, he sounded to me like he was, when he made that, that quote, whatever he made, whatever he said that it sounded to me like he was probably in a, I don't give an F moment because he, if he was trying to be dip more diplomatic, he probably could have just said, you know what? I make movies about my people and I can't imagine a white person playing one of my people because he's not white. It would be wrong. It would be disingenuous. It wouldn't be accurate. So no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. You know? <laughs> right. Right. I understand. And, and so that's, that's basically what it is. I mean, could, could some of the story, like that story that, that he wrote with us, could, could that have been white people? Sure. He could, they could have, he could have written that for white people, you know, the one that he made before that, I forgot the name of the one where they were snatching black folks, you know, could they have, could they have done something? Could they have made that with white people somehow? Sure. Possibly. I mean, there were plenty of white people in it, but he could have, he could have flipped that up somehow. I mean, you can flip anything up. I mean, there are, there are characters people complain about why, well, why are these, all these, why does this character need to be, uh, a man. What, why can't it be a woman? We saw that. We're seeing that right now in boys with with uh, with what's her name with um, Stormfront. Stormfront. Stormfront was originally a man in the comics, but they made it a woman. So I mean, there's it's always possible to flip characters and and rewrite stuff to make it to whatever you want it to be. But if the dude is saying I'm telling stories about my people, and so it's going to be my people in these movies, well, you know what? For the last hundred years, we've had stories about white people. You know, I mean, I, the movie industry has been around for like what a hundred and some years, hundred and twelve years, something like that. We've had stories about white people. We've had very few stories about anybody else. We've had probably, probably we've had white people, and then beyond that, we've probably had a, a number of stories about black people. And I'm talking about in this country because. I mean, I was going to say there's not many stories told about Asian people, but if you look at all the movies that are told in Asia about Asian people, I mean, throughout China and Hong Kong and all of the and all of the Asian, you know, all of the Asian continent, all of those. And, and that's not even talking. I mean, I'm just talking about Far East Asia. So we want to talk about Asians in general, all the Bollywood movies and all of them. There's a ton of those movies out there, too. So black people just have not been represented well or frequently when it comes to movies. And so. I just don't think any white person out there has a lot of room to talk, you know, okay. they, okay. they can and they will because that's what they do. But there's just they just don't really have any room for it. So what I would say is 
if you enjoying his movies the way he's doing them, keep enjoying them because the man's putting out good stories. It's just that simple. Keep yeah. it moving. Keep it moving. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Who we we about to finish up all politics, man? Oh man, boy, boy, boy. If you find me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe. Oh, hold on, let me to- let me stop something right. Let me stop you right quick, bro. I'm sorry. I just have oh, to address yeah. Chris P. And Chris P, I don't hope I'm not going in on you too hard, but here's the thing. It says, so Jordan Peele won't be casting his real-life mom in any of his future movies. LOL. I understand you're trying to make some dig. You're trying to throw some shade at the brother, trying to make it seem like, okay, he's mixed, so he's just he's dissing his he's dissing the white side of his family. He won't be casting his mom. If you And this is part of the problem with people when, they, when, when stuff like that comes up with Jordan Peele said. People get all butthurt and emotional and stuff, and they don't read the stuff. They don't actually read it, or either they don't have the proper reading comprehension to enter a discussion like this because it did not say that he wasn't going to cast white people. What it says is he wasn't going to cast him as a lead. And so that's what it is. So it didn't say he was like, he, sure, if he wanted to cast his mom in a movie, he could cast his mom in a movie. Every movie that he's put out, he's had white people in there. They're just not the lead. That's it. There's a big difference. And so, and so if if someone's mad about the fact that he's not going to cast his mom or other white people, he never said that. And I don't believe that based on what I've seen from him thus far, that the stories that he's going to tell is not going to have white people in there. Because when you are writing stories in America about black people, white people generally play a part of those stories. And so there's going to be white people in those stories. They're just not going to be the lead and they need to deal with it. Okay. If you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to mine. We cover a range of topics on this live stream that we do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. And tonight uh, we're going to talk about the debate, but before we get to what was a pure shit show an embarrassment for America, let me shout out all my people out there supporting my Miami sports teams, the Heat and the Dolphins. The Heat are playing right now. Nobody's uh-huh. giving the Miami Heat, and nobody's uh-huh. giving us a shot. Nobody thinks we can beat LeBron ass for leaving us, and that's the main reason I want them to win the title is because I want to say, LeBron, you had no LeBron business didn't leave y'all. You LeBron, had no LeBron, business LeBron leaving. LeBron you had no, in Miami. I'm going to mute you because I have a mute button. This is what Chris Chris Wallace should have done to Trump. He should have hit the mute button. Let me nope. finish. We and Miami that, and Pat what? Riley and Eric Spolter, <laughs> we were very upset when LeBron James took his damn talents back to Cleveland and left Dwayne Wade high and dry. So Miami, my daughter already has a Miami Heat outfit. Please win I tonight. I know you just did not get up there and talk about he left when you – and then you named Pat Riley, who left L.A. I he know left. you're not complaining what? about people leaving one place to go to the other when it's y'all a, stole what? Pat Riley. There's a difference. There, there's a difference. There's a difference, huh? Yeah, there's a difference. L.A. cut Pat Riley. Pat Riley didn't want to leave L.A. Mm. LeBron wanted to leave Miami and left. We wanted to keep him. We was trying mm-hmm. to give him everything. But in any mm-hmm. event, any event, 